these these drumsticks best recipe i came up with wow definitely ups that bright price definitely ups it <laughs> When it comes to chicken, everybody has a favorite part. It could be the thigh, it could be the wing. You guys know how much I love wings. Today, I'm going to reintroduce another favorite part of the chicken for you guys, the drumstick. We're gonna be making saucy drumsticks and I made this recipe on my birthday and I shared it with you. However, I cooked this recipe in the oven. There's been a lot of people who've sent me a lot of DMs asking for me to show this recipe, but on the stove. So that's what we're gonna be doing today on this episode of Miss Mandy Throwdown. Now we're gonna start things off by seasoning our chicken, or rather our drumsticks. And I'm just gonna hit them with just a little bit of salt. However, the pepper, I'm not gonna mince on it. And this is because we're gonna start off by browning the drumsticks. And they require some form of flavor in order for them to brown with flavor, right? Now, if you need all the measurements and all the ingredient lists, you can find it in the description box below and you'll see everything listed for you. Now that our drumsticks are well coated with salt and pepper, and I also used very little salt because of the fact that we have dark soy sauce so we're gonna be using in this recipe, and soy sauce has a lot of sodium, so you need to be careful um, about that. So now that our drumsticks are coated with salt and pepper, let's head on over to the stove in order for us to brown them. We're adding in about a tablespoon and a half of cooking oil and then once it's nice and hot we're going to be placing the drumsticks to start browning now you don't want to crowd the pan with too many drumsticks because they're going to start releasing moisture so i've just put more than enough here so that they can brown evenly and nice So I've gone ahead to take out the chicken, put it in a separate bowl, and now in the same pan with the same amount of oil, because also the chicken released a lot of fat, we're gonna go ahead and add in um, our onion. And we're just gonna cook these until they're soft before we start adding all the layers of flavor that we need to. Now that our onions are nice and soft, we're gonna be adding in our cilantro denia stems. Now I'm gonna add this in phases, so I have gone ahead to just add in a handful. I'm also adding in one tablespoon of minced garlic. And now right after that, I'm going to add in some of my rosemary that I have finely chopped. And I'm also going to add in half of the cube. Now, the major reason why I added in half of the cube is because we're gonna be using dark soy sauce, we're also going to be using ketchup, and all of these elements have salt, they have sodium, and you don't want to really um, have too much sodium in your food, you want to be able to moderate it. So it's important to cook things in stages. Now that we've added that, we're gonna be adding in our tomato paste. gonna cook it out and for this I'm going to also add in some brown sugar just to sweeten the tomato paste now because we're starting to build on the saucy element I'm also going to be adding in just a little bit of water this water will help the tomato paste start to become slightly runny now at this point you can taste to adjust anything Ooh. so yum and I'm going to add the rest of the cilantro stems. And I'm also going to add in more water. At this point, I've turned the heat to really low. And now it's time for me to place back these drumsticks into here. Now we're gonna add in more brown sugar. If you want to add chili, I highly, highly recommend you can add some chili in there as well. We're gonna go in with the ketchup. Now, the tomato paste, the ketchup are both great thickening agents to the sauce. And we're gonna go in with just 
just enough of our dark soy sauce. I'm gonna toss everything in here really nice. And then we're gonna cover this to simmer and cook through for about 25 to 35 minutes. But before we do that, I'm gonna put in the rest of the rosemary. And I'm also just going to taste the sauce again just to see if there's anything that's too salty. It's perfect. Just another hint of water. And then we're just gonna cover this so that it cooks through. At this point, I'm cooking things on really low heat. I just want everything to simmer and the chicken to really cook through, get those flavors inside there as well. And as you guys saw, like everything requires a lot of tasting, a lot of building of the layers of the flavor, as opposed to putting everything together and then you've not tasted and things are too salty. Like with the recipe I shared for the wings, which you do it in the oven, I did mention that if you mix the whole marinade together, you have to taste it so that you can see where to adjust. And moderation is key. You don't have to put everything at once. Moderation is a major key as you're cooking so that you can taste things and know when to adjust. It's been 25 minutes. Mm, the sauce looks beautiful. Now I, I kept adding a little bit touches of water whenever I saw like the, the sauce was starting to become sticky and sticking to the pan at some point. So water helps loosen that up. And now that they're ready, all I'm gonna do is go ahead and plate them up. I'm so excited, this is the most exciting part. <laughs> Like, it's the color for me. They're so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Now, you don't even want to let go of that sauce. You definitely want that all up in there. Now, because we cooked this with the cilantro stems, the flavor profile to this is very beautiful. You don't need to garnish this with more chopped up denia. It's like you're doing the most, sis. Stop it. You're doing the most handsome man. Stop it. Um, so, once your 25 minutes are up, you've played it up, you're ready to eat. And it looks beautiful. Now that we've served up, you can go ahead and serve this with some rice, some potatoes. I highly recommend sweet potatoes for those of you who are looking to ensure that you know you want to keep a healthy, balanced diet. Also, if you're looking not to consume too much fat out of this, don't eat the skin. But the skin is the best part, we all know that. And please don't try and skip on the steps or on all the moderation that I have preached throughout this cook. However, this is a huge fave for me right now, mainly because it's saucy, it's delicious, and it's so quick and easy to cook. I am looking forward to you recreating it. My hashtag to use is Miss Mandy Throwdown. And until the next episode, you know you need to stay eating delicious, don't you? Yeah. Mm. Oh my God. I'm about to cry. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. These, these drumsticks, best recipe I came up with. Wow. Definitely ups that bright price. Definitely ups it.